Oh my, so brave, man. your brother. Uh -oh. Pick a topic. Talk about the universe. What you, stuff you usually talk about. Games. Yeah, there you go. Go. <sighs> what happened? Okay. What happened, huh? Huh? Tell us what happened. The, the power went out for like a couple seconds. No. One second. <laughs> a couple seconds. One second. A couple seconds. I can't, I can't count. <laughs> it. Ooh, let's see it's gonna run out. It doesn't really stand up anymore. There it is! We just checked the breaker and everything is on. It was you! <laughs> Mommy, don't worry, you're safe with us. You think so? Yes. You gonna protect me? Let's get the little man! Probably. Bed! Right. Hey, who said you could get it by bed? It's scary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apartment is secure. Huh? I got a perfect mm -hmm. shot. Oh my, so brave, man. Oh, I got you. <laughs> you know what? It might end up. Oh, I come to this. Me using this, so. See how that was? Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Well, hold on. I saw this movie once. See this hand? See how steady that is? Well, I shoot with this hand. <laughs> what movie is that from? I don't know. What what is that from? Oh, I've never watched hey, it. Hey, you guys, um, I don't know if you noticed, some of you probably noticed that we weren't able to finish our puzzle because there's no room on the kitchen table to keep doing the puzzle. So I figured if I open up one of my boxes of books that I had sitting in the corner and finish filling up this shelf here, then I can flatten this box out and tape it down maybe if I need to and then try to use it for our puzzles so we can finally do puzzles. Correct. And then we can just move it to the closet floor every night so the cats don't get in it while we're sleeping. And we want to see if that is going to work because I really want to do my puzzle. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to empty this out. And somebody asked me one day to do a book tour. So I guess I'll just show you a few of my books. You know what? Let's just start. <laughs> Let's just start with this. Because it's really quick. Obviously, I mean, you guys can pause it if you want to see closer. But obviously, you can see that, like, I love I love fantasy uh, fiction. So I have a lot of David Eddings books. He's my favorite author, along with Robert Jordan, which I have all of those down here. The Wheel of Time series. And then I also love, um, Ter well, I did kind of love Terry Goodkind, but his books have gotten kind of boring over the years. But anyway, I have a bunch of his series. And then I have, this is a really, really, really good series. The Way of Shadows by Brent Weeks is an awesome three book series if you like fantasy. And then this is a Kate Elliott uh, Crown of Stars series, which I've never finished. I have a lot of books that I haven't actually read. Like I just, I collected like four bookshelves worth of books. And then I had to get rid of three bookshelves worth of books when we moved here because we didn't have enough space and we have no storage. So I got rid of a lot of stuff that I never even read. We just donated it to the library. So I have a really bad habit of collecting books and then not reading them, like especially these kind, like the uh, science books, China Study, The Man Who Couldn't Eat, and this is supposed to be about a guy who uh, has Crohn's disease like me and I've never read it. I've only read parts of The China Study. I'll, I'll, usually I start reading these books, Self-Healing Crohn's and Colitis, and I, I just don't finish reading them. I just get bored or... You know what I mean? Like I just start things and I never finish them unless they're usually a fantasy book. <laughs> so anyway, I have a lot of fantasy books. And then I have Harry Potter down here. This is my best friend, Tiffany. <laughs> this is a really old picture from like high school. A little blurry. There we go. Me and my uh, punch buggy t-shirt. And anyway, I love Harry Potter. And I also love Brandon Sanderson. He's the one who finished the Robert Jordan series when the author died. Um, and his books are really good too. And then I've got the Aragon series, which I've also never finished. I need to read the last book. I'm just gonna go through and reread the whole series because I don't really remember it. Some more books I haven't read, Fast Food Nation. I've read some of A Wrinkle in Time. I started this, but still haven't finished it yet. I need to start it over and then more self-help and cookbooks and stuff like that. Um, Jim Butcher books are really good. I never finished the, um, he has a series, this one, 
the Dresden Files. That one I got kind of bored with. I never finished it. But this one, the Codex Alera Jim Butcher series is really good. I finished the whole thing. It's really, really good. So if you guys like fantasy, this is a good one. And then, yeah, just got a bunch of like random stuff back here. Dr. Seuss and then more more health books chris works chris beat cancer patient heal thyself by jordan rubin some more wheel of time books back there and then i got all my dr seuss books here with um some other things like um these books which i thought looked really cool wizard of oz um made into graphic novels which i actually haven't even read so see i see a bunch more books i haven't read that i need to read Ugh, now I gotta try to get it back in there. I thought this one looked really cool too. Edgar Allan's Poe, Tales of Mystery and Madness made into a graphic novel. And I haven't read that either, but I thought it looked really cool. I used to read Edgar Allan Poe stories when I was a kid and I really liked them. So I bought this, but I still haven't gotten around to checking it out. But anyway, yeah, mostly Dr. Seuss books here. Howl's Moving Castle uh, art book. Love that movie. And then, ooh, my shelf is shaking. I drop all my toys and then I just have a bunch of... Barbies I used to play with when I was a kid. These are the most epic Barbies I've ever seen in my life. I love them so much. They're space Barbies. I don't remember if Mattel made them or if some other company made them, but these were my favorite. I love them. I wish I had more of these because I've never been able to find these like online. I don't know what they're called. If anybody knows what these Barbies are called, could you please tell me because I want to look for the other ones and see if they have them on eBay <laughs> someday, you know, try to collect them all. That would be really cool. But anyway, so I got all my little stuffed animals yes i'll never grow up i'm always gonna have toys and down here the gerson therapy one of these uh i have not again another book i have not read the edge chronicles and i've got the stephen king's tower of darkness series which i read up to songs of Susanna, and then i never finished that book and i haven't finished the series the movie sucked it was not good <laughs> but i've got the first two books of this uh, the Edge Chronicles. I um, probably bought them when they were on sale or something, and then I just haven't gotten around to reading them yet. Lost Symbol. I actually don't remember if I read this one or not. I do like Dan Brown, though, but I can't remember if I read this or not. But anyway, and then I have a poem book here when I was a kid. I got a poem published. Um, it's really cheesy. Let me know if you guys want to see it, <laughs> and I'll show it to you in the next video. If you want to see it, leave a comment that you want to see the poem that I made when I was, like, 13. Anyway, so that's this. We're gonna move. Move your feet, babe. We're gonna move that. And then I'll show you my books that are in this box, which are some of my most favorites that were in here for safekeeping. My Neil Gaiman collection, The Sandman. I have the, what, do you remember what it was called? It's like the Master Collection or something like that. I can't remember what it was called. I think it was but it's these huge. These are the first books I bought you. Yeah. yeah, this is the first series that Luis bought me. And. He special ordered them. They came out in pre-sale. Was it through um, Barnes & Noble? I think so. Was that one store on... on, on uh... There you go, the Absolute Sandman collection. This yeah. is volume one. I have all of them. So I have, you can and see. They're hefty. They are very heavy, yes. That's can why I... Out? Yeah, can you get them? And then I have his graveyard book. So that's just the case. Yeah, that's just the outer case. Pull it out so you can see. Okay. If you guys one don't... Side, yeah, if you guys other. don't know Neil Gaiman, the Sandman, it's like the most epic comic series like graphic novel series i love it my um <clears throat> it's gonna sound funny but my oh i'm sorry i'm getting out of breath this is how you know i have not exercised in over a month because i am out of breath just doing this i need to exercise but anyway this is like really awesome graphic novel series if you don't know it um you should definitely look it up but it's about um see it's about death morpheus his name is morpheus and it's about his siblings, which I've already forgotten, like, all their names except for uh, Death and, um, did I say Death? His name is Dream, I'm sorry. Dream. And he's the Sandman, so obviously Dream, he controls Dreams. And then his name is Morpheus, and he has a bunch of siblings. Um, my favorite ones are Delirium and Death, but I forgot the other one's names because I haven't read this in so long. Um, but yeah, it's got really awesome artwork and the story... There's obviously very long because there's like five volumes or something like that. Four or five volumes. See, I tried to start reading it again and I got to here. This is pretty far, but I need to start it over again because it's also been 
so long again since I even read this far, so I tend to forget everything. That's why I love books, because I can just reread and reread and reread and never get sick of it because I always forget half the story because I have a really bad memory. But anyway, yeah, so if you're interested in graphic novels, this is epic. It's so good and it has such good artwork. Really interesting stories. And yeah, so I have a lot of these, so... Ugh, so, ugh, these are so heavy. Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, and they're all huge. <laughs> and this one has got death on it, which is really cool. Four. And then, oh, I can actually show you. So there's, okay, so there's five. Whew, that's heavy. Five, and then there's this one, which was... I don't remember what this one was actually. This is just an art book. I'm not sure. Actually, I don't even remember. I haven't looked at this in so long. It might just be like an art book. Yeah, telling about the artwork. Probably how the books came about and were made and everything. Ooh, that's cool. See, this is um my three favorites. Dream, Death, and Delirium. And uh, my high school boyfriend actually drew me a picture of Delirium, which I have on my wall here. It's been here forever. Check out Jeff Lewis artwork on Instagram. He has an account. He still does artwork and his art's really cool. Yeah, he's a really good artist. Yeah, so. Most of our artwork. Yeah. The wall is from him. All the Dr. Seuss artwork that's in the living room is all by my ex-boyfriend from high school. And I love that Luis doesn't care. He's a good artist. <laughs> and he lets me keep the art, yeah. And then once I met him, he was really cool with me, so. Yeah, I love I had them meet each other once or twice I and... The, well, I think it was painting. the... It might have been the uh, Thing 1, Thing 2 paintings. Maybe. I don't remember, but I know I had him draw something for an old a friend that I used to have and um, we went to go pick that up from him too to give to her for her birthday, so... I think you met him twice, but anyway. So that's that. I do have my other Stephen King books in here that are part of that Dark Tower series. One of these days I'm going to reread it and finish it some temporary tattoos <laughs> and then another graphic novel I had found about death which is uh, you know the Neil Gaiman character written by somebody else though Stephen King another book I haven't read <laughs> and then yeah number one the gunslinger and then this is just a diary that I don't even know if I've ever used let's see it's got writing in it but uh we're not going to show that because <laughs> i had a tendency to write only things i was depressed about back in the day so it's not fun to read <laughs> anyway so we're going to set everything up on my shelf sorry i don't remember who asked for the book tour so sorry for those of you who are bored not caring about my books but somebody wanted to know about them <laughs> so hope you're happy now and let me know if you guys like or have read any of my books like any of the fantasy fiction because those are my favorites. Those and Dean Koontz, but I think my Dean Koontz books are still in there. I think I kept I think I think kept my favorite ones, but they're not out here, so they must be in one of these boxes still. Not sure. Well, let's look, actually. This box is not taped closed. Oh, I got my diaries. These are two diaries back in the day. Oh my gosh, this is a picture of me and my brothers from when I was little. How cute. <laughs> yep, that's me and my brothers. Oh my god, here's another one. Check this out. <laughs> wow, yep. Family photos. <laughs> Aww, little me. Oh, and then my dad and my grandpa. <laughs> and my wedding photos. Our wedding photo. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, those are in one of my diaries. Oh, and then I've got, oh, I should take this out. This is my adult coloring book. I could use this right now for when I have anxiety. This is really cool, actually. Now I just need to find my colored pencils. Maybe they'll be in this box. So I've got some Egyptian art, more ancient Egypt stuff. I always liked Egypt, Egyptian stuff, stuff about Egypt. <laughs> I 
as you can tell. I've never even read any of these, but sometimes I've flipped through them. Some of my cookbooks, I could definitely use these right now, so I'm glad I'm taking these out. Plant Power Families, Drina Burton, Vitamix book, Power of Juicing book. <laughs> you want some natural beauty tips? I read part of this book back in the day. Of course, never finished it. I don't finish much, as you guys can tell. I have a lot of cookbooks I've never used either. I need to start using these. I'm glad I'm taking these out. A lot, a lot of cookbooks. I refuse to get rid of my cookbooks. Apparently, I must have gotten rid of my Dean Koontz books because they're not in here, so that sucks. Never read this one. And then I've got my Four Agreements collection, which I've only read the first one. Those are supposed to be really good. The first one's interesting. And I've got Ramona the Pest series. I used to read to the kids when they were little. And then I have the first copy of the China Study, but now I have the revised copy. I have a lot of cookbooks. I won this one off of Instagram, I think, by somebody. I don't even remember who. Uh, I should pass that along to somebody else. And this one, I think it came with uh, Vitamix or something. And... I hope that was something my friend Kat made me. A pocket letter my friend Kat made me back in the day. And then my old um, laptop holder, but that's everything. So now I just gotta organize everything, put it on my shelves. All right, so here's our box. I'm just gonna have to get some tape to put over these holes. And then we'll try to use that and see if our puzzle will fit on it. And I put some of my cookbooks out along with my Neil Gaiman series and the rest are back in the box cause I don't need them. I know there's nothing I'm gonna use right now. So anyway, that's it for the book tour. <laughs> Organizing my, well, whatever it's still not organized but it makes me happy to look at my books and my collection of toys <laughs> i'll never grow up